back after a seven year gap. Michael Rutter leads them away. He wasn't quick in practice. Bike problems put him seventh on the leaderboard and he's been struggling to match the pace of the top men. Even on a day like this, with damp patches all around, that could be a problem. That's Adrian Archibald, three times a winner. Butter through the bottom of Bray. Archibald hasn't really shown race pace and race winning form. Practice hasn't been kind to him either. But there is no trouble so far this week for this man, John McGuinness. 11 times a TT winner. The winner of this race for the last three years. The race and lap record holder and the fastest man in practice last week. He has every right to call the TT Mountain course his own. Bit of a wobble for John McGuinness starting fast through Agos Leap as we look down on Michael Rutter. And this is the last his fans saw of him in this race at least as the toughest race course in the world claimed another retirement by mechanical defect. The bike has to be perfect or it just can't stand the pace. Fitter than he's ever looked before, Errors Martin Finnegan. Five times a winner, New Zealander Bruce Anstey. And Ian Locker claimed his seventh win last year. Ian Hutchinson carrying the front wheel. The Yorkshireman with two podiums under his belt in his many years and he's learned it all from this man. But no one starts as hard as McGuinness. Reeling all of them in except this man here. Number eight, Guy Martin, catching the riders ahead and matching Three. McGuinness for pace. Yeah, Though the pair are a minute apart on the road, that's about two miles. And they'll never see each other during the race. Not even in the pit stops at the end of lap two and lap four. McGuinness leads, but the gaps are small. One second, then two seconds, then four seconds at the end of lap one. Guy Martin chasing hard round lap two. It's four seconds, then five seconds, then six seconds, and then plus ten seconds as John McGuinness ends lap two with a lap record for the first of two very fast pit stops. He gained six and then seven seconds by being quicker than anyone else in the stop. Ian Locker. P4 or 5 ahead of Adrian Archibald on the road, 64 there, TT regular Carsten Schmidt. A new tyre, a full tank, John McGuinness gets the clear to start. And the bike is out after a stop of 44 seconds. Local rider Connor come in 7th place, taking up Manx hopes as fireman Paul Hunt fell at Kerrimore. He's OK, probably hurt the scenery more than it did him. John McGuinness in Ramsey now with 30 seconds in his pocket, but it's a home run now for John McGuinness heading down through Brandish Corner at the end of six laps. He's raced three Grand Prix distances to this moment to win the first race of the Centenary TT, his fourth such race in succession.